Now John and Anastasia have done something very beautiful and they've written some personal vows that they would like to share with each other and with us. So now is the time to share those vows. All right, I'll go first. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, big smiles. Why uh -oh. the puppy? I can't. You tell me you're scared. You tell me you're weak. But I know you're stronger. What you think? Oh, where's Anna? That's not Anna. Anastasia. Anastasia. Oh, my beautiful daughter number four. Anna, we have always done things our own way in a non-traditional fashion, to say the least. So the fact that we wrote our own vows shouldn't be a surprise to pretty much anyone. I think it's fitting that we put our touch on something like this, especially since some of the classics have already been tested in sickness and in health. A vow is a solemn promise, not just any promise, but the biggest kind. Because not only with the pastor is it before God, but it's in front of everyone we know and care about, and most important, it's to each other. So we can't ever get into an argument of whether or not it happened, because there was witnesses. <laughs> With that, I have a short list of promises that I know will grow as time goes on. I promise to always remind you of how beautiful you are, even though you might not see it or disagree with me. I promise to show you the compassion and understanding that you deserve. I promise to annoy you and frustrate you in every possible way. I promise to say I'm sorry when we're fighting and really mean it. I promise to, all, to do all the man things around the house and help with everything else. And I promise that I will always handle things when it comes to the cars. I promise to do everything in my power to make sure that you smile every single day. And lastly and most importantly, I promise to love you and cherish you in every way that I can. I should have went first. <laughs> Anyone who knows me knows I really couldn't care for a fancy dress and a big wedding. But standing here with you today, the process that got us here was amazing. We had so much fun with all the planning and the researching and the compromising. We may have our differences because we're both so hard-headed, but I can't express how excited I am to be your wife. I promise to always be by your side, no matter what. I promise to listen and give you the best advice I can. I promise to always say I love you, and I, promi and I promise to always be a pain in your ass. <laughs> we have been through so much together, more than most people ever will. I'm confident that we are fully capable of conquering anything that comes our way. We are each other's support system, where one of us slacks, the other person picks up. I couldn't ask for a better partner to do this thing that they call life. 
I love you so, so much. It is my privilege to announce to you Anastasia and John, husband and wife. John, you may kiss the bride. Now you did it. Woo! Thank you. Thank you for the Should we bow? <laughs> the quote, Better Together, really represents you both. You truly bring out the best in one another, and it's such a beautiful thing to witness. So they say in these speeches that you should always have some sort of quote. So upon my hours and hours of research, I read a quote <laughs> that I found would be great advice for you both. A great marriage doesn't happen because of the love you had in the beginning, but how well you continue building love until the end. So my advice to you is to continue investing in your marriage so that your love continues to grow and your bond is inseparable. I'm feeling happy And moments ago I was only empty What did you slip me? My heart is racing and I'm getting dizzy There must be something complicated after I at this Will I wake up in your bed and regret everything I did Like a hangover but leave me needing one more fix She said, shut your mouth and kiss me all right, Alex, no pressure. Uh, you two have come such a long way, both of you, from two very small, one horribly useless apartment. The most expensive storage unit ever. But now look at you guys. Beautiful home, beautiful family, beautiful, loud family. Um, so I don't want to carry on. Uh, I just want to say Anna, John, congratulations, and enjoy the rest of your beautiful, crazy forever. Thank you. I love you both. Shut your mouth and kiss me In the parking lot, in the backseat Don't dare stop now Just close your eyes and kiss me Like you mean it, you're a bad dream But I'm into it now I shut your mouth and Yeah, I'll just close my eyes and kiss 